And first tonight at five, some new information being released in the search for a man accused of shooting and killing a 17 year old after an Astros game in what appears to be a road rage incident. This is who HPD wants us all to be on the lookout for an African American man driving a white car. Today, the father of the teenager speaking about this sudden tragic loss. Fox 26's Randy Wallace joining us live now with his message. Yeah, Paul Castro, who lost his 17 year old son, David Castro, says he exchanged hand gestures with the other driver. But he adds that didn't give the other driver the right to execute his son. As a father, um, and I still consider David with us, so a father of three, um, a person who behaved the way that he did is a threat to all of Houston, all of Texas. And this person um, is probably not afraid to use violence again. And this person needs to be taken off the street. Paul Castro and his two sons had just left the Astros game at Minute Maid Park Tuesday night. Police say the driver turned killer did not attend the game. The uh, suspect comes off uh, 59 North exiting Polk, min mingles in the traffic where Mr. Castro is leaving the game. Um, he's already driving aggressively. You can see him weaving in and out of traffic. Police say the cars met on Chartres. The suspect, described as African-American, muscular, early 30s, and about 5'8", got out of his vehicle and yelled at Castro. Is there any world that we live in where an exchange of hand gestures excuses the execution of another human being? Police say he followed Castro onto I-10. Both exited Wayside. That's where the shooting took place. We don't have the shooting on camera. We have, we're trying to backtrack the vehicles. We have them up to the point where the shooting happens on the service road. My son, David, was a light in a world that is sometimes dark. And he lived a life of giving. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna let someone steal that. Now, police are hoping that the vehicle will lead them to the driver, that someone will recognize the vehicle. It, it's white. It had no front plates, a paper tag, a sunroof, and unusual rims with just seven holes. Now, anyone with any information on the vehicle or the driver should call Crime Stoppers 713-222-TIPS. Reporting live from the southwest side, Randy Wallace, Fox 26 News.